Jesus fucking Christ, what an adventure in this goddamn hellhole of Ithaca, New York. Jesus, we are on a different planet than bugs in a jar farm. Let me tell you what, uh, I'm out here in the big box row, so uh, what a fucking adventure. Uh, I think we have already heard the, uh, we, we've already heard the, the grill adventure trying to uh, donate a fucking beat up old grill which I guess the universe was determined just to put in the fucking garbage which is what happened to it what is today it is Thursday May 26th or 27th somewhere around there 2022 so anyway finally get the fucking grill out of my goddamn truck which means I can actually go shopping to fill up my truck with other shit, such as the new grill from good old Home Depot. Okay, so I go online and uh, to go shopping for just the most basic cheap grill at Home Depot last night. Price is $139. That's right there. $139, so I get to the, and it, and it says pay right now, I, I could have, uh, I, I could have paid $139, just, you know, just hit PayPal, paid for the fucking grill, but I wanted to look at it first, so I go up there today, I'm talking 12 hours later, fucking $149, sitting on the price tag, and, and I said, this is fucking bullshit, so the, you know, the woman comes out there and, and I told her my great tale of woe. So she gets out her fucking little gadget and guess what the price comes up at? It comes up at $139. $10 cheaper than the fucking uh, sign. So I said, so you agree with me that this grill is $139. And she said, that is the price, $139. So, of course, it took 20 fucking minutes to get somebody out there to come get the fucking grill unlocked. So, while I'm waiting for that, right beside the fucking grills, right there, there's the, this big fucking sign next to the, uh, the bulbs, like the gladiolas and the dahlias and the canna lilies and stuff. Right there... Uh, a few feet away from the grills, 50% off. 50% off. This big fucking yellow sign with red uh, lettering about four inches tall. Clearly, big fucking yellow sign with red, uh, with red writing, 50% off. There was no mistaking the sign that everything on that fucking rack was 50% off. I mean, this is a pretty substantial savings. So I get, you know, like $50 worth of stuff, uh, meaning $25 worth of stuff while they're getting the grill unlocked. I'm filling up my fucking basket with all of these, uh, these damn flowers that I don't need, but I couldn't resist that 50% off. So anyway, she finally gets the grill undone. We get all that taken care of. So, uh, I go and I, and I had to get a couple of boards and shit, so I get to the cash register. And you know exactly where this fucking story is going. So, she checks out the grill and it comes up $149. And I, and I said, no, no, no. Uh, I said, this grill is $139. And she, she runs it, she types in the fucking whatever. 140 I'm sorry sir it's $149 and I said no the grill's $139 and I'm not leaving this store uh, I, I said I'm just sick and tired uh, uh, of this you need to get someone over to fix it so she calls someone and then she starts in on the flowers and take a wild fucking guess every motherfucking package came up full price and 
I, I, I said, excuse me. I, I said these things uh, are 50% off. And she goes, what do you mean? I, and I said, every one of these is 50% off. And she's like, well, what makes you think that? I, and, I, and I said, the big fucking sign. There's a big fucking yellow sign with goddamn red lettering. Uh, everything on this fucking rack is 50% off. And uh, so she calls the garden center, uh, you know, on the opposite end of the fucking store. Uh, she runs it by the garden center lady, the garden center said, I have no idea what you're talking about, that we haven't cut the prices on summer bulbs yet. Uh, you know, meaning I'm thinking they're getting ready to. Uh, and so anyway, she says uh, they are full price today. My guess is on Tuesday uh, they, they will be half price. But anyway, uh, she says no. And, 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 uh, and, 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 and I, so I told the woman in front of me, I said it wasn't in the garden center. I said I'm talking about the main fucking entrance to the fucking store. When you first walk in, you know where all these goddamn $139 grills are? Uh, 12 feet away from those fucking grills, uh, there's this giant display uh, of, of summer bulbs, 50% off, with this big fucking yellow sign. I, I, I said there's no, there, there is no confusion, there's no ambiguity that uh, everything on that fucking rack is 50% off. So she calls the fucking manager over for that, and, and, and people in line behind me, obviously, they're stalking off in, in, into other lines. So she's got one person working on the fucking, uh, on, on the fucking overpriced grill trying to get me my $10 back. So she gets another motherfucker involved in this, and uh, so he comes up, and the guy was an asshole, uh, you know, thinking I'm talking some shit. And uh, I couldn't leave because, you know, I was in the middle of the line working. And so he goes, you know, he, found, he wanted to find out. I told him what was going on. And so I told him exactly where to look to see this goddamn sign. And I said, you can't miss this bright yellow sign, brother. It's right when you come in the fucking front door. Uh, and he goes, well, I don't know the sign you're talking about, sir, but I'll go and, and, and see. And, and I said, so if that sign is there, you're going to give me 50% off. And he goes, well, I, you know, Home Depot is pretty fair about that. He goes, he goes I guess if it's clear to me that that sign uh, it, it is sitting there advertising them. So he walks off. I'm not with him because I'm stuck in the fucking line still dealing with the fucking $10 over the fucking grill that they had price wrong. And uh, so the guy comes back with me all pissed off and, and he goes, sir, there is no yellow sign in, in front of that bulb rack. And I, and I said, what are you talking about, dude? Uh, I said, I was just there 10 minutes ago uh, filling up my cart with all of these half price. And, it, and he had taken a picture of it with his phone, which I thought was pretty weird. So he pulls out his phone and, and he goes, sir, here's the, here's the rack at the front of the store. Uh, he goes, there's no yellow sign saying 50% off. And the, the motherfucker just took the fucking sign off. He got there and went, oops. He was probably the dumb motherfucker who put it on. Uh, and so with me not there, that fucking sign just miraculously disappeared. And uh, I, I said, no, I said, this isn't the way I do business. Uh, fuck your flowers. So we get the $10 on the damn... Uh, grill problem fix. So I leave Home Depot and then head to Walmart and what I'm doing at Walmart is uh, looking for these little Coleman stove propane tanks, you know those little green bubble tanks for, that you hook up to your camp stove. They've been hard as hell to find for a year 
you know, I was down there in Austin trying to find these fucking things, uh, you know, about six weeks ago to take out to this folk festival. You couldn't find these fucking things anywhere in Austin. Uh, all you found was a bunch of empty shelves, and the, and the damn empty shelves, these goddamn things, were, were 15 fucking dollars. Uh, for one of the, these things, used, uh, they used to be three dollars. Okay, and and they were sold out at uh, at, at fifteen dollars. You couldn't find uh, the, these motherfucking things. Although I admit I did not look at Walmart when I was when I was in Austin. Went to about three other stores. You know, people coming uh, to the festival to meet up with us. They were nobody could find these fucking things. Go on, goddamn Amazon. Go on fucking Amazon, and they were thirteen dollars a piece on Amazon. Uh, so anyway, I need these. You know, the hip camp is open up, so I need these little fuel things. So I go on last night, and and I go over there to Amazon, and. The prices actually dropped, well, it was a special whatever, uh, dropped from uh, $26 to $23.50, so whatever that is, a uh, little less than $12 a piece that uh, you could get. They, you bought them in these two packs. Uh, you usually buy these things in, in two packs. You know, when one runs out, you know what I'm saying. You get the, you, you keep, you know. So you always want to have two of the fucking things. So uh, they had the two packs uh, from from Amazon directly for 23 whatever, and then they had three other sellers uh, selling these things. Every one of them. Uh, was right around 35 between 34 and 35 dollars 17 dollars to 1750 each so I was about to pull the trigger uh, on the uh, on the fucking 11 dollars and 20 cents one and then I said what the hell I'm gonna go over there to Walmart go to walmart.com I go in there what do you think a two-pack of the, uh, of these uh, Coleman propane things are at Walmart. Two pack. Uh, so I remember twenty three dollars at Home Depot. Thirty. Uh, I'm sorry at Amazon. Thirty five dollars uh, for three other people selling these things. What do you think the fucking two pack was at Walmart? Eight dollars and eighty-eight cents. Eight eighty-eight. Four dollars and forty-four cents. Go on there to the Ithaca store. It says they have six of these things in stock. Uh, you know, six two packs for a total of twelve. I said, "Fucking, I'm going to buy every one of those motherfuckers when I get there." So I get there and go to the goddamn rack, take a wild guess. Well. Thank God, if you guessed there were zero left, uh, you're almost right. I, I, I get there, there is one two-pack left, one on the shelf. I get the last two-pack of those motherfuckers in the city of Ithaca, New York. Right now in Ithaca, New York, I don't think you can buy these damn things. Uh, so I took, it said, right there on the shelf, $8.88. I go through the line through one of those self-checkouts, and you know where this story is going. Again, it's not as bad as it could be. I was still thinking that I'm going to get up here, and, and they're going to try to charge me $22 fucking dollars for these last two things, and, and, and I was going to fight tooth and nail. And, and I wasn't paying more than 888 for those motherfuckers. So guess what? The price came up on the automatic price it was 987. Is when I scanned it. It came up 987, 99 cents more uh, than they than on their website and right there on the shelf 
under those motherfuckers, 99 cents. You know, they were still less than half the price as they were on fucking Amazon. What the hell? You know, my two choices were to sit there and start some shit and go into this major fucking drama uh, like I went through at fucking Home Depot uh, over 99 fucking cents. I did what you would have done. I, I just sat there and fucking ate it. Just ate the fucking 99 cents. You know, this shit is just fucking everywhere. You know, uh, you have to watch every fucking thing uh, that, that comes up now. Uh, it, 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 it's unbelievable fucking bullshit uh, with this inflation and shit that we're dealing with as it is without adding in this bullshit. Uh, it's like more often than not uh, that the fucking uh, cash register doesn't line up. Uh, you, you got people ripping down uh, sales uh, signs that they never should have uh, fucking put up. You, you just have Home Depot. Uh, you know, ninety-nine percent of the people out there uh, would have paid the one forty-nine. Uh, having no idea that the motherfucking thing was 139, and and, and you just it, and you just multiply this fucking bullshit. Anyway, that was my trip to Ithaca, New York. Then I go to the fucking grocery store. You know, my favorite grocery store in Ithaca, New York, and there's a big fucking sign: "We are closing for good." Uh on Monday. Memorial Day is their last blowout uh, and they're moving out of town. It's this big ass store called Wegmans has uh, just pretty much kicked everybody out so I guess I will uh, start doing my fucking grocery shopping at Wegmans when I'm in Ithaca, New York. Join all the beautiful people at Wegmans. But anyway, it is a spectacularly gorgeous day. It is 73 degrees, and I have to get back home and mow the grass with my beat-up old gas-sucking lawnmower while I wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. I've been waiting for over three weeks for my brand new, better $500 uh, Save the Planet electric lawnmower. Uh, so I'm trying to uh, keep this fucking gas-sucking dinosaur alive uh, for another week or two till I can start saving the planet with my lithium battery-powered electric lawnmower. Anyway, get out there and enjoy your gas-sucking dinosaurs why you still can and check your receipts. Bye guys.